and gentlemen, let me start to say that it is a great pleasure and an honor for me as acting president of the International Union of Prehistory and Proto-History to be invited by your president to address to you during this session where 30 years of work are in a way celebrated. But celebrating and looking to the future means also shortly looking to the past. USPP and work is an old story. And you all know that story and fairy tales begin with Il était une fois, sorry for the French, once upon a time. So let us come into that story. Three decades ago, once upon a time, there was an international organization for pre and proto historians that rooted into 19th century academic sciences of international cooperation with congresses and publications, with successes and sometimes with lesser things. It was dominant and it had the monopoly of international archaeological science at that time, at least for pre and proto history. Confident in this position, it was probably not aware enough of changes in the society, changes in the world of archaeology. At that time, the USPP was to organize the World Archaeological Congress in Southampton in 1986. This didn't work, as the organization was pregnant of a newborn baby to come, but without knowing and realizing she was pregnant. The baby got the name of World Archaeological Congress, with the first Congress in Southampton, while USPP organized its opponent Congress in Mainz. This is, of course, not the place or the time to enter into detail about why and who. It is even not interesting. What counts is that the baby was born. This young organization, the baby in my fairy tale, was very active. The mother didn't really like that active and noisy child. In one word or more, they were not on speaking terms. Really a pity. Of course, grand philosophical and or political principles were guiding and misleading both organizations. Of course, we, USPP, or WAC, were the best. Of course, the other was completely wrong. What both in fact forgot too much or didn't consider enough is that we all are guided by the same love for archaeology. Our love to discover and reveal the past of our human societies are concerned to transmit that love and knowledge to future generations of archaeology students or larger audiences, to cherish and protect our heritage because we both know that societies without a past or destroying it have no future. Our concern to work for a better world is common to both. Over the last three decades, both organizations had their congresses and conferences separately as if there were two worlds of archaeology. Fortunately, initiative from both sides slowly and carefully erased the major discrepancies. As Claire Smith, then president of the WAC, was invited to have a talk at the opening ceremony of the SPP in Lisbon, the SPP invited here, is invited here and has the opportunity to congratulate that child she had without knowing the pregnancy. In the meantime, the baby became a full-grown daughter that has her place in the world of global archaeology. Both organizations have their focuses and interests. Both have their own structures and activities. In my opinion, the more people are concerned with archaeology in all its aspects, the more our major goal of progress of archaeological science and understanding and a better world will be closer. That is what matters. What did USPP in the meantime? It organized its own world congresses in Bratislava, in Forli, in Liège, Lisbon, Florianopolis and Burgos. It organized tens, maybe hundreds, of specialized conferences and congresses on archaeological topics. It published a lot of scholarly books on the prehistory and the proto-history of our world. I can say with proud we were active in the field of archaeological science. As a president, this is something I'm very proud of. 
In the meantime, also, ESPP had to get rid of the old system inherited from the 19th century academic world and from the post-World War II period. It had to reorganize and review its structures to get closer to the present day situation of archaeology in the world. That's what we did in Florianopolis six years ago. Looking to the future, one can wonder if there is place for two world organizations. I think there is. The main goal of both organizations is the same, archaeology. But we differ in the way we handle it, with, within science, within society. In his speech yesterday, our colleague set the accent on the societal role of archaeology, and this is of course perfectly honorable and even necessary, absolutely. In the US prepared accent is different, so be it. We both have a role and a place in the world of archaeology. Let us continue to play that role. More important today and in the future, let us get rid of the concept that you as an archaeologist had to make a choice. You were or USPP or WAC. One can perfectly feel good, I think, in both organizations. So for the future, I would pray for a better mutual understanding and for a better cooperation. Let us keep our differences, but focus on our common goals. Dear colleagues, we all know it. Parent-child relations sometimes are complicated and difficult, even explosive and aggressive, as both organizations were in relation to each other. Fortunately, time is a healer. Time helps to find midways and to create bridges. It is thus with great pleasure and honor that I would like to congratulate WAC for its third anniversary. I would like to congratulate my daughter. I wish WAC at least 30 and more years of success in the promotion of archaeology. And I wish you all, dear colleagues, an interesting, fruitful and very friendly Congress. Thank you.